Hey. <laughs> Good evening. I am Michael Palmazana. Today, I'm going to teach you everything you should know about binge drinking. From doing three presentations and extensive research on this topic, I feel I am a credible source on what binge drinking actually is. According to CDC.gov, about 90% of you have partaken in binge drinking. Yet, I would bet none of you would be able to give me the definition or could describe what it is. In this speech, I hope you learn what binge drinking actually is, how it varies from male to female, and the effects it has on different parties, and how, as a community, we can solve the problem together. I, am not, I hope not to come across to you as preaching, not to drink, but my purpose in this speech is just to educate and show you actions do have consequences. So what is binge drinking? Now that I hope you're curious about this topic, I can explain to you what it actually is. According to CDC.gov, binge drinking is defined as a pattern of drinking that brings a person's blood level to above 0.08 within two hours. The National Institute on Alcohol and Abuse says this point is reached when men drink five or more drinks in one sitting and women drink four or more drinks in one sitting, which is tend to be under two hours. Now that you know what binge drinking it is, it's safe to say at one point or another, you have partaken in binge drinking. I personally think it's one of the most common types of drinking at our school, and yet no one seems to talk about it. During fest season and most weekends in Athens, you will be able to see people binge drinking all day, yet nobody seems to talk about what the consequences are. But when taken seriously, what are the consequences, and what could binge drinking really do to you? With that being said, and now you know what binge drinking actually is, what are the effects and the consequences of it? In no way in this speech am I telling you not to drink or do something that they think is not fun. In this speech, I hope to appear to you as a peer rather than an authority figure. But, with that being said, drinking does have consequences for everybody. Some of these consequences could be considered more serious than others, and some consequences should be taken more seriously. When impaired, you are more likely to be in an accident or drive while intoxicated. And according to DoSomething.org, the three leading causes of deaths in adults ages 15 to 24 years old are automobile crashes, homicides, and suicides. With these three things, alcohol is a leading factor in all of them. The rates for assault, unplanned pregnancy, and STDs all rise while you are under the influence of alcohol and drugs. According to CDC.gov, about half of the alcohol consumed in the United States is in the form of binge drinking. That is scary to think of when you think of how common it is, especially in Athens. And although those are the worst case scenario consequences, they can happen to anybody who isn't being smart about what they're putting into their body. With that, my personal idea of a best solution is just to be smart about what you're doing. The one sure way to avoid all of these problems is to be educated about the topic. Think before what you do, and if you have to think twice about it, it's probably not a good idea. Sometimes being smart doesn't come as easy as some people make it seem to be, especially after one has drank many alcoholic beverages. So here are some other solutions that we could use to avoid binge drinking in our community. The school needs to educate its students better on what binge drinking actually is. As a freshman, you are required to take courses about it, but none of them are specifically directed about binge drinking. One idea we could do is to apply them to juniors also, so you have to retake it and relearn the education again. Another idea we could enforce is directly at the bars. This idea would be to raise the prices for alcohol. This is especially prevalent to Athens because of our low prices and when we have happy hours, the drinks are even cheaper. Outside of the bars, we could raise prices of alcohol at gas stations. This in hopes that students would drink more at bars instead of at house parties. If we could get students to drink less at house parties, there would be a lesser chance of um, 
people getting drugged with their drinks or things like that. I think all of these ideas together can make a difference <coughs> put to the test. But when it comes down to it, it's all on the students. The only real difference can, can come from the community and we all have to work together to see the difference. In conclusion, I hope you learned a lot about binge drinking. You could have learned what binge drinking actually is, the problems it, that comes from it, and solutions you can use to avoid binge drinking. According to NewRepublic.com, binge drinking has been a huge problem for many years leading up to this point. Hundreds of hours and millions of dollars have already been spent into the fight against binge drinking, and it only continues to rise over time. In this speech, I hope you learned that binge drinking isn't all fun and games and that there are real-life consequences sometimes, especially if you aren't smart about it. But I think that if you're smart about it, you won't be put in this situation and you can avoid it entirely.